Now here's the way set operators work logically. There's always at least two queries. A top query followed by a keyword, intersect, union, except or minus, and then a bottom query. Both queries run simultaneously. This is what makes them so powerful in a parallel processing system. And then they both deliver two different answer sets. And then those answer sets are compared and usually duplicates are eliminated. So what I need you to understand right now is rule number one. Take a look at this query. We're selecting department number and employee number from the employee table. Then we're intersecting and selecting department number and manager number from the department table. Rule one, you have to have an equal amount of columns in the top, and we have two, and an equal amount of columns in the bottom, and we have two. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to compare the answer sets and eliminate duplicates. We also need for these two columns at the top and the bottom to be apples and apples and oranges and oranges. So they have to be comparable. We call that being from the same domain. Basically the same data type containing the same information with a range of values that is the same. Here's another query to prove a point that's going to bring back no rows. I'm going to select first name from employee table, intersect, select department name from department table. Now we did follow rule one. We have the same amount of columns in the top and the bottom and they're both character data but there's one problem. They're really not from the same domain. They don't represent the same range of values. Nobody's coming back here unless you meet somebody and say, excuse me, what's your first name? And they go, they call me marketing. And I go, yeah, hi, marketing, where you at? Hey, I'm in sales. I'm confused. You see, we've got to compare apples to apples on an intersect if we expect anything to come back. Here's your next rule. The top query handles all aliasing. So as you can see here, we're going to select department number as deputy. We're going to accept the employee number as the manager. Intersect, we're going to select department number and manager number from the department table. We've got two columns in the top and they're aliased up there. We've got two columns in the bottom. They're actually like data even though the names are different. You see in the department table we have the manager's employee number. So what we're actually returning here is the department 400 and the manager number. Here's another rule. All sorting, order by statements, have to be done in the very bottom query when you're dealing with set operators and you have to use the number. I cannot say order by depno or order by depti. I've got to say order by one. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You have to use the column number in the order by statement. The greatest gift of all that you can give yourself and your company is the gift of the Nexus Query Chameleon, the query tool of the future. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you're kept up to date on all our videos.